Hello, everyone. It's the coach. Welcome to EA Sports coverage of the 2019 NFL Pro Bowl from right here in Orlando, Florida. Coming up, the AFC looking to make it three in a row as they square off against their rivals from the NFC. I'll be back at halftime, but first, let's get you downtown to Camping World Stadium. Standing by our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, much appreciated, Coach, as we welcome all of you to our exclusive coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Straight ahead, bragging rights on the line in the 46th meeting of the AFC and the NFC in the 2019 NFL Pro Bowl game. As always, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, Rams and Patriots still a week away. We'll touch on that later. But as Coach said, the AFC coming in here on a two-game win streak. And I love the fact that it's back to AFC versus NFC. We had that little time frame with captain's picks, and there was no side. I didn't like that. So let's see if the NFC can get into it. Drew Brees will be their starting quarterback. Probably a little perturbed about how his season ended. And Patrick Mahomes from Kansas City. What a second season for that youngster. The AFC heading out on offense and leading him is number 15 from the Kansas City Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes, in his first ever Pro Bowl. Get your tux, get your best suit. Let's head to the red carpet. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. Time for a check of the starting offensive unit here for the AFC. It's not often we start a game talking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. A look at the starters defensively now for the NFC. Playing in his 11th season in the NFL is defensive back Malcolm Jenkins, who entered with the New Orleans Saints as a cornerback. Tremendous tackler, can also guard receivers in the slot. Here's Mahomes to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's caught at the 25. A big play there on third down for the AFC. 53 yards for Patrick Mahomes. City. The organization, the team, the city. How well are you set up for future years with that youngster as your quarterback? Two minutes old, but a quick red zone opportunity. They have a first and 10 at the 13-yard line. And he will score. Touchdown, AFC. From 13 yards out. And the AFC takes it all the way down. Extra point up and through by Myers. Five plays there on that drive. And it ends with an AFC touchdown. Yard line. The NFC offense taking the field, being led in blue by the NFL's all-time passing leader. 12th Pro Bowl nomination for the great QB from New Orleans, Drew Brees. And he here as he's out to the 30. Here's the cream of the crop offensively, the starting unit for the NFC. And coming off the season, which saw him set career highs. Of the starting defense now for the AFC. One of the best young safeties in the NFL, Jamal Adams. Keep an eye out for him because no one is safe when he's on the field, including mascots. Just ask Pat the Patriot. Jamal Adams was also down there in the trenches and a nice play to stop him cold. Nothing there. Yeah, when you talk about big boys, you talk about those defensive tackles, those nose tackles. And that just bims. Time for your Super Bowl prediction, CD. What do you think? Well, everyone thinks defense when they think the New England Patriots. But in the time that they've had their head coach and their quarterback, Tom, me, that this Super Bowl, low scoring. It's going to be a total anomaly. I'm thinking somewhere in the neighborhood of 13-10 final score going totally opposite what it should be. Well, I'm going to completely disagree. I see high scoring, maybe 51-44, something. Like to fake it when he's on the field. Mahomes going to throw, eluding the pressure right. And he will score. Touchdown, AFC. From 13 yards out. And the AFC is able to widen their advantage. Great early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least 12th Pro Bowl nomination. Though he hasn't played all 12 years, but still, what a career and what a season. And to do it at this age, unbelievable. Not too bad for a guy who turned 40 the week leading up to the NFL. Marcus Lawrence applied the heat. Looking to throw is Mahomes. 
And Mahomes is going to go down in the end zone, and that is going to be a safety. And you know the man who sat in my chair the last few years? He because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a second. People celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Rivers, the catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. Now a play fake here on first down. Rolling to his right. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Now whistles here, and we've got a man down. Man down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. This, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. At the 26. Now Brady. First completion of the game for our new quarterback. And remember, of course, we're going to start to see a lot of these guys rotating in. They might end up riding a hot hand down the stretch. Guys who are playing well, they may get increased playing time. But for now, everyone gets an opportunity. And that is caught on the right. The football, they've got him bracketed out there in double coverage. Makes it hard to fill it in time after time. It would have had to have been an absolutely perfect pass and not good enough. Three out of five since taking over as he's given his guys a first down. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And offensively, they'll take the timeout. With the final shot before half for Brady. Oh, he had six points in his head. A final shot before Bray. Brady. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. So we are at halftime of the 2019 Pro Bowl with the AFC out on top. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Boy, this AFC team has figured something out. They've got the lead again, looking to make it three in a row since the game moved to Orlando in 2017. So the question, what can the NFC do to come back? We'll ask that of our guys as we send you back to Camping World State. Pro Bowl, the AFC's won both games that have been played here in Orlando since they moved to here. Both have been competitive, 20 to 13, two seasons ago. And when you're running the football, one thing you don't want to see is a big boy coming up there and swallow you whole in those D tackles and nose tackles. No, you're actually counting on your big boys to protect you from them, but on that play, the defensive tackle had the leverage, and he won the back. Julio Jones, that's hard to believe here this late in the game. And no one more frustrated then Julio Jones because receive it ends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. They control the clock, they control the ball. And that ripple, these cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. Yes, they have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. Face mask, defense. So instead of... I think maybe they were deciding to go with speed on the field rather than bulk. I'm with you a little bit surprising. They want to... And a big loss here as he's taken down. The lightning rod, J.J. Watt with a sack. Remember, Nick's here on fourth and goal. Bree's going to go on fourth down. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown, NFC. An 11-yard touchdown. And the NFC has now cut it to within one score. I'm not sure when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, uh, yeah. yeah, you know. It doesn't got, feel right. Exactly. That's fielded in the end zone. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's scooped up by the NFC. And he will take this back. A fumble return for an NFC touchdown. There it is, partner. You teams are holding them up. We own the fourth quarter, what we found out so far. Two touchdowns here, and now they've taken the lead. Yeah, second one putting them in front. You know what I see on the other side of the contest? We've got that just like the last two seasons, a one-score game as we play here in the fourth. What I'd love to know, what's the discussion on the sidelines of both teams right now? Because, you know, it's an... And all the way in for the touchdown. Tyreek Hill. 75 long distance plays whether long distance runs long distance passes it doesn't matter in the pro they come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire 
Back to throw. And he is going to bring this back inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. And that one? Game. On third down, Connor. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's scooped up by the NFC. He's at the 50, the 30, past the 20, 10, and in for the score. Are you kidding me? They return it, and they take the lead. Back to throw, Mahomes. He's going to let it fly. And he can't corral it. That would have wrapped it up if he'd been able to hold on. Instead, it brings up third four thus far. This will be third and a mile. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that one incomplete. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. One final try for Mahomes. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back in his own three-yard line. So, Charles, a victory for the NFC. Final thoughts on this Pro Bowl? We had some fun, didn't we? Absolutely. A lot of excitement, some big plays to watch, a lot of those great matchups that we don't get to see during the regular season because sometimes teams don't play against each other. And, oh, by the way, no one got hurt. There's the win for everyone. I think the fans enjoyed this one. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. So long, everybody.